everyone, welcome to our first lesson on how we register as uh, course lecturers on the Lagos State University Open and Distance Learning Research Institute online platform. It's going to be a short lesson, but you're going to enjoy every minute of it. Yes, yeah, so what will be our lesson objectives? Uh, we will be looking at elements of a model that we want to emulate, if you like, if we want to target, uh, which is the MIT Open Courseware. And uh, we will then proceed with looking at the platform that the LASSO ODLRI will be using. And that platform is Moodle. We'll just familiarize you with it. And the heart of the matter for this lesson is that we'll take course lecturers through the process of registering on the Moodle platform of LASSO ODLRI. So let us go with the first objectives, which is the elements in the e-learning site that we want to model. There are several sites, several wonderful sites, but we have decided to uh, model the MIT Open Courseware uh, uh, site. So this is the MIT Open Courseware site. MIT, by the way, is Massachusetts Institute of uh, Technology. And uh, you find that there are 2,400 courses and about 200 million visitors from all over the world. Uh, this is what we want to emulate. Let's uh, look at some courses, uh, most visited courses. So these are courses that uh, undergraduate and others. Uh, let's take one course, uh, Principles of Microeconomics. We want to be able to get this kind of uh, design made in our uh, site. Yeah, so when you click on a course, it comes up with uh, uh, the course description, uh, the instructor, uh, when it is taught, the course number, the level, video lectures, it has video lectures and all of that. So let's actually view this course, Principles of Microeconomics. So this is one uh, structure that we want to adopt for the Lagos State University Open and Distance Learning and Research Institute. This is the course home. This is the home page. And then the syllabus is the, the syllabus for the course, prerequisites, course goals, uh, textbooks, all of this. And then the unit one, that's one of the, uh, one of the uh, units. Introduction to microeconomics, applying supply and demand, elasticity. Let, let, let's look at uh, this. So you have the session, activities, reading, the full video. Uh, you have video. This video is uh, for, let me make this bigger. This video is uh, 34 minutes long. So for, uh, this one, uh, this so. This is a lecture, this is a transcript in English, this subscript. Subtitle in English. We may not be able to get there very quickly as we, we're just starting our online program, but this is the goal that we want to uh, get to. It's important for you to set, or for us, to set the goal and then inch our way up the ladder. So we have the full videos and then you have the midterm exam. Uh, this is the exam. Uh, this other unit, so you can see it, the exam, the practice problems, practice uh, solutions. Yeah, so that's it. We want to be able to, there's a final exam. And of course, they can download the, yeah, they can download the entire course material. So this is what we want to, this way we want to be when we grow up. Yeah, so after highlighting the elements of, uh, the MIT Open Courseware. Let's go on to our next objective, which is about Moodle, the platform for the Lagos State University Open and Distance Learning Research Institute. By the way, the regulator, the National Universities Commission, has uh, prescribed that Nigerian universities running ODL programs, that's Open and Distance Learning programs, should use Moodle. Oof, what is Moodle? These... Uh, uh, the, the alphabets here, you know, stand for the following. So it's an acronym, acronym. 
So M is modular, O is object, O oriented, D dynamic, L learning, E environment. So module is modular, object oriented, dynamic learning envir environment. Now module is free. It's free. It's also open source. That means you can you, you can adjust, man, manipulate, and uh, customize it the way you want. And it's a learning management system, LMS. So if you hear LMS, LMS means learning, or it's an acronym, short form, uh, for learning management system. It's uh, a tool for letting you organize your learning, organize your teaching. So we're done with uh, 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 next objective. The last objective, of course, is to walk you through how you, as a course lecturer, on the Lasso ODL program, uh, program, register on the Moodle platform. So here we go with the practice. Yeah, so let's look at it uh, like a stepwise process. Let's look at step one. Step one is for you to check your name on the master list of course writers that are emailed to you earlier in the day. Recall that we discussed this at the meeting we held between 1 and 2 o'clock uh, today. So here is the file that I sent to you, which uh, has your, your name, your last name, your email addresses. So what we did at the back end, back end will mean we are at the workshop end of the, of the whole thing. The front end is what you see. So at the back end, we had to get you your username, and then generated some password, you know, for you. So what you are going to be watching out for in this list is this. Look at Dr. Bola Rewa, for instance. Bola Rewa, S-A. Uh, his email address is this. And then he has the username Bola Rewa and the password as this one. Ashamu, uh, the password. Omobinton, the password. So this is what we'll be uh, looking at. So you after checking your name on the course writer's master list, then the next thing that you'll do, uh, we've already done that, to locate your username and password. And then if for any reason you are not on the list, as we discussed in the meeting today, a number of people uh, they didn't have their names on the list. So all you need to do is just send a mail uh, to me or send an SMS to our hotline. This one, just send an SMS and we'll set it all up for you at the back end. Uh, if you are not, if you are on the list, you can you are able to locate your username and password. Then you have to proceed to step two. So what is step two? Yeah, step two is uh, for you to log in to the Lasso O D L R I site. And what is the site? The site is located uh, within this uh, domain, Lagos State Government E Learning dot org. L A S G E Learning dot org forward slash O-D-L-R-I. Recall that uh, Dr. Amor was uh, uh, in, the, in the meeting today and we were able to see what this site looks like. So for those who didn't come for the meeting, all you need to do, I'll just show you in a minute. Yeah, so what you do is the address bar of any any browser, uh, this is the address bar. What you do is just type L-A-S-G E-Learning. You can see it's coming up like this because I've been using it. Uh, I just keep. So let's uh, see that. Come on now. So this is what we have. Uh, let me. I'm holding out the control key and pressing minus to let this screen uh, be more readable to cover more of the of the of the space here. So you have uh, the last open and distance learning research institute. Uh, so this is the site that you need to. Uh, get into that's our step one now let's get on to see what the next step is we have logged uh, into this site and uh, so next one is for follow the process as demonstrated okay let me now demonstrate this to you which i did uh, uh, during the course of uh, the meeting we had today if you find your name on that list don't go anywhere else other than to come to login if you don't find your name on that list, as I would have mentioned again in a minute, you go to register. So 
assume your name is on the list you just go to login and it will come with this i already have my username there because i asked it to remember my username so i take this off then you can go to the let's see now you go to yes this one you can take any one of these on offer job and this is the password so these two uh items of the credentials by the way credentials will just mean is that any password all those things that you can use to open the door into a site called credentials so username and password are your credentials so you type your username you type your password and you click on login when you click on login i don't want to do this because i put I already logged in if i put that of uh, any other person it may inhibit your successful login so just username password and it will tell you to go check a validation link at the email address which has been provided so you just go and follow the link and all will be you are, you are then all set for a site uh, for any reason if you do not have your name on the master list you don't have to worry at all you don't have to worry at all all you to go to go do is to register as a new user let me give you a demonstration of that one so still on the site you just go to register and uh, it will give you a form that you need to fill and uh, that form has uh, username you can come up with whatever username that you want as a uh, director professor Sina Bakri mentioned at the meeting please be sure that the username is something you can recall very easily and also your password and then you put in all the details email address first name surname city town all that and create new account as soon as you do this you are all set to go that's all about it yeah, so what have we done in this lesson one? Uh, we did identify a model site as the MIT Open Courseware. We also took a quick, uh, took a quick look at Moodle that we're going to use for our ODLRI platform. And finally, we learned how to register on the ODLRI platform. So what ne what's next? What are you waiting for? All you need to do after this is you go on, you log in. Uh, if you have your master list, if not, you proceed to register. I'll be expecting all your registration in the next couple of hours. What is going to happen in the next lesson? Next lesson, we'll be taking a tour, a leisurely tour of the Moodle platform so that we can see all the features of our ODLRI. Until then... From me, Peter Okebukola, it is bye.